in every decision you make, whether it's a car, whether it's you know a laptop, whether it's furniture, whether it's a house or whatever. So ask the question, number one, if we truly wanna get clear on what the actual rate of return is on the loan that we're paying, number one, we have to get the cheapest price and then we figure out the terms. When we combine those together, that's when math gets a little confusing and that's when you can manipulate things. But you need to, number one, get the cheapest, cheapest price and then talk about the terms. This is Better Wealth with Caleb Williams. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Better Wealth Podcast. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about uh, the 0% loan and why um, it's a lie in most cases. I'm going to teach you how you can have better discernment as, re as it relates to buying cars, as it relates to buying laptops, how you can do the calculation, like I'm actually gonna walk you through that. And when I learned this, it just made me a more informed buyer across the board. So what we're gonna do is, I'm, I'm essentially, here's my thesis. thesis. Essentially, a lot of people say they have a 0% loan, but they're giving you a half truth. It actually is a 0% loan, but if you have a cash, you can actually get the, the, the cost of the car or whatever for cheaper. And so if you reverse engineer the payment that you're paying versus the cheaper price that you're getting, you're actually um, paying a lot more than 0%. And I'm gonna break that down. So I'm gonna go over to my laptop. If you're listening to this, I'm gonna do my best by explaining this, but um, you're missing out because you could be watching this on YouTube and I'm, I'm showing you exactly what's going on. So we're gonna take a $35,000 car. Why? It's just because it's, it's just the most common. So I'm gonna take $35,000 car. And what a lot of people will say when you go to the dealer, they'll say, come in, get a $35,000 car. This is amazing. And we're gonna give you 0% financing. And so you're not charging, like you're not getting, you don't have to pay us anything for the loan. And a lot of people ask me, Caleb, should I take a 0% loan? And I always will ask the same question, is it a true 0%? They're like, yes, it's 0%. And they'll, they'll say, watch this. You take 35,000, um, I'm going to, over, over my lifetime, it's 0%. The payment over 60 months, the payment is $553.33. So they'll take the payment, they'll take 500, $583.33, they'll multiply it by 60, and they'll say, see, it equals, 35,000, they see my math is math. It's $35,000 is 0%. Does that prove that it's a 0% loan? And with that math, with that logic, yes, that's a 0% loan. The problem is this, the price here, because a lot of times when you take seller finances, and this is the, the two common places is, or three really furniture, laptops and cars. Yes, you can get a 0% loan, but what, this car costs you 35,000. Why can't we negotiate that down? A lot of times if you have cash or if you have money from other places that you can write them a check, a lot of times these prices will, will, can go down. Now, if the price is totally fixed, like that's the price, then, then you have an argument to make like, okay, if that's the price, if I had cash in my hand and, and they would not budge for 35,000 and I wanted that car, then, then it's a true 0%. But in most cases, you get a deal if you pay cash. Okay. Now again, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I don't want to have the conversation of like, should you pay cash? I'm just saying a cash buyer, people that have access to capital, whether you use the and asset, whether you use a credit union or whatever, usually has an advantage. So, what is the true interest rate here? Well, to answer that is how cheap or what? How can I negotiate this car down? Okay. So let's say I negotiate this car down to thirty thousand. I have thirty k on me right now that if you give me the car, I'll give you this. And in most cases, they'll be like, yeah, done, okay? So you take $30,000, now Now the real question is, this 0% loan, what was the true cost in this scenario? What was the true cost of that 0% loan? We can actually figure that out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to the present value calculator and put $30,000 in, okay? And this is the cost of the car, but we're gonna compare that to the payment because we're comparing apples to apples. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put this in brackets, 500, I'm gonna pick your 0% payment of $583, $83.33. And the future value is zero over 60 months. Drum roll, please. That 0% loan actually cost you, 0% loan actually cost you 6.46%. Now the real question is, in that scenario, if this is true, if, if this is actual true, then the question is, should I go get a quote unquote 
6.46% loan at the car dealer. It's not 0% because if we had cash, then the cost of the car is lower. Do you see like half truce? Like we have to be an educated buyer. We have to understand how to make decisions. So then if I could go to the, a credit union and they could give me a 2% loan, and they could give me that 30,000, would that be a better buy? Or if I could go to my life insurance and get a four and a half to 5%, that's a lot cheaper than this. And, and the crazy thing is, you know, like it, it's, a simple, it's a simple equation. Like let's say, let's say the car, I could get it for 28,000. This is how fun this is. If I could get it for 28,000, you just change the present value from 30 to 28, and that car now costs you 9.49%. Or maybe you could just get a $32,000 loan. Or you could talk them down to thirty two thousand. Now three three point seven one percent. That's you. That's a pretty good you know loan rate. But it's not zero. That's that's the thing is I want people to be educated and understand what's actually going on. So just in summary, in every decision you make, whether it's car, whether it's you know a laptop, whether it's furniture, whether it's a house or whatever. So ask the question number one. If we truly want to get clear on what the actual rate of return is on the loan that we're paying number one we got to get the cheapest loan rate or sorry we have to get the cheapest price and then we figure out the terms when we combine those together that's when math gets a little confusing and that's when you can manipulate things but you need to number one get the cheapest cheapest price and then talk about the terms and if you if the cheapest price was thirty five thousand, they wouldn't budge then yes $583.33 is a true 0% loan. But if but if the price changes, that 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 is that 0% loan is is quite deceptive and is not serving you and, and helping you. So I hope this was helpful. If this was, make sure to pass this on to someone because I know that buying cars and just buying things in general, like a lot of people need to know this. Like this will empower you, this will equip you to make better decisions. It'll make you a ninja as it relates to wealth. If you're listening to this or watching this on YouTube, you can give this a thumbs up, share this with people. We're trying to get this information out to as many people because if you understand how to use money as a tool, you'll be able to live more intentionally now and in the future. And at Better Wealth, we are passionate. We're, we're excited about helping people live more intentional lives. Thank you so much for listening to the Better Wealth Podcast. It would mean the world to me if you could hit subscribe, leave a review, and share this with the people that you know and love.